Hi guys, welcome back or welcome to my channel. For those of you who are new, my name is Stephanie. I'm a nursing student documenting my journey and sharing any tips and tricks I pick up along the way. Now, as you can probably tell by the title of this video, I have gotten my very first job in a hospital setting while still in nursing school. My role will be to work as a PCNA, um, AKA CNA, and I'll be doing that until I graduate in December uh, when I will hopefully be able to transfer to an RN position. So in this video, I'm gonna talk to you guys about what a CNA is, what they do, why I decided to become a CNA and the steps I took in order to become one. So if this is something that you're interested in, then keep on watching. So what is a PCNA or CNA? PCNA stands for Patient Care Nursing Assistant and CNA stands for Certified Nursing Assistant. They pretty much do go hand in hand. I got my license as a certified nursing assistant, uh, but they pretty much have the same duties. What we do is help with feeding, bathing patients, ambulating them, helping them with range of motion exercises or assisting them to the bathroom, helping them use bedpans. We are able to take basic vital signs like taking their pulse or respirations we're pretty much the RNs and the patient's right-hand man. We help patients with activities of daily living and just observe them as they progress in their care and report to the RN any abnormalities that we may see during that process. So the reason I decided to become a CNA and start working as one while still in my program and before I graduate is because CNAs are a vital member of not only the nursing team, but the medical team as a whole. Taking care of patients does require a team effort and an all hands on approach. And unfortunately, I am not getting as much clinical experience as I would like to while in my program. So becoming a CNA has helped me get a position in a hospital where I can start working one-on-one -on -one with patients and learning from RNs along the way. I do wanna become the best nurse I possibly can be, and so I understand that learning and perfecting the most basic skills and working from the bottom up is gonna be a great way to start. And working as a PCNA will not only help me gain experience working directly with patients, but will also allow me to understand their role. So once I do become an RN, I'll know firsthand how important they are and it'll help me not only never take advantage of them but appreciate everything that they do once we become our end sometimes we lose sight um, of the fundamental basic skills that are required of us and we think that we might be too good to help clean up after a patient or help them use a bedpan, when ultimately we are responsible for all things that have to do with our patient. And the nursing assistant is just that, there to assist us with those duties. So once I do become an RN, if I can make their jobs as easy and painless as possible, I'll know that they'll be able to do the same thing for me. Another reason I decided to get a job as a PCNA is so that I can get a head start in finding employment once I do graduate as an RN. I was lucky enough to find an opportunity in a per diem position, which means that I can pick up shifts as many times as I'd like, as long as I meet the criteria of working four shifts every six weeks, which is so doable while I'm in school. And I can even pick up more shifts than that if time allows and I'm able to handle it. I also found this opportunity at a very well-known and respectable hospital. So if I do enjoy working there, during these next few months, I can hopefully transfer right into an RN position even before I sit down for the NCLEX, start training, start getting my hands dirty, and I'll already be familiar with the staff, familiar with the hospital policies, and transitioning to that position won't be so overwhelming um, because I'll have a lot of help with the people that I've already been working with. 
And if for whatever reason I feel like this hospital is not the best fit for me or vice versa, I'll still have the clinical experience from a great establishment that will look very good on my resume. Now, as far as the steps I took to become a CNA, although I have not had the best experience with my school as far as clinicals are concerned, they do offer great programs for students at their medical campus uh, to take for their CNA certifications, PCT, phlebotomy, and things like that. So I thought it would be silly of me not to take advantage, especially since they offer these programs at their expense. Um, so I jumped right on it. CNA was just the very first program that they offered at the end of last year. So I took advantage as soon as they did that. So I went ahead and signed up for the weekend course that consisted of a lecture and also the skills portion um, that are required for the state exam. They provided all of the necessary tools for us to study from and to perfect these skills and even held the state exam at our very own campus. So after I completed my weekend course, I submitted my application to the state. It did take about a month or so to get approved for that. And once I was, I went ahead and sat for the written portion of the exam and the skills portion of the exam. Um, they are taken on the very same day and you are told whether you passed or not on the very same day. And once you pass, you get your license in the mail just a week later. So it was actually pretty simple to get my CNA exam. The hardest part, I guess I would say, um, was actually getting approved by the state. You just have to go through a lengthy process. You have to get your backgrounds um, cleared and, and all that good stuff. Um, because of my history, I did have to submit uh, a bit more documentation um, just to make sure that I was healthy enough and I was in a right place and the right state of mind to start taking care of patients, of course. So um, I did do that and it took me a little bit longer than some, but I did get approved, which will help with the NCLEX. It's the Board of Nursing, so it's the same department that approves you for your NCLEX as well. So now that I have enough applications submitted and I'm cleared with them for one license, I should be good to go for my RN license and to sit for the NCLEX. So that is a plus as well. And yeah, once I did get my license, I went ahead and started applying at all of the hospitals nearby. I was looking for hospitals that I wanted to also work at as an RN. My goal was to get a foot in the door, start working with the hospital, learning from the hospital, start learning from the RN staff as well, and continue to work with them once I did graduate and pass my NCLEX as an RN at the same hospital. I just feel like it would be a great opportunity to do that. So that was my ultimate goal was to apply at a hospital instead of let's say an assisted living facility or a nursing home or something like that, which is not really um, somewhere that I wanna work at as an RN. And so if you are thinking of maybe becoming a CNA or PCT or phlebotomist while you're still in your program, I highly, highly suggest it. Um, if you think that you can handle it as far as working while you're in the program, it'll just be an extra clinical experience you can look at it that way a great opportunity for you to learn observe get your hands dirty and just add um, a great asset to your resume as well per diem shifts are an awesome option while you are in school just because you can pick your own schedules you can work as many shifts as you'd like and the criteria that hospitals require are also very, very doable while you're in school. Um, I waited until my last semester of nursing school just to make sure that I, based on my experience so far in the program, I feel like I can definitely handle um, a shift or two a week. And if let's say I have finals or if I have a heavy workload in school one week, um, I don't have to necessarily pick up a shift as long as I do work my four shifts 
within a six week period. Um, and that is what my hospital requires. And I was so, so lucky to have found them. I am so excited to start working. Tomorrow is my very first day of orientation. I plan on maybe vlogging a little bit, letting you know about that process, how that goes. And we'll continue to post videos surrounding my uh, journey as a PCNA. And if you guys have any questions, please do comment them down below. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up this video. I hope that it helps with maybe guiding your decision. And yeah, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Remember you guys, thoughts really do become things when you put in the work. So never stop believing, never stop working. The real flex is when you stay solid when things get tough. Till next time.